Alright guys, what's up? I'm out here at this uh, Long Beach DIY. You might have seen it in others' videos. Dan's been here a bunch. Uh, Zach's been here a bunch. But uh, this is my first time coming here. So, yeah. Had to set up like a dirty board for like curbs and DIY. Did a little funky grip. Grip job here, some public snowboard stickers in the grip gap there. Uh, yeah. Wow, this place is big. This place is vast. Look at these stairs. This uh, set of stairs someone's just left here. And all this rubble. Look at all this rubble and rebar. But yeah. Uh, a lot of graffiti here going on. I've seen people skate this gap here over the rail onto the flat here. And look at that. We've got some people painting right now. Live painting during the day in Long Beach, California. There's Dan over there. A bit windy out here today. Oh wow, there's a pretty funky out rail here. Looks pretty sick. There's a bench. This weird plastic McDonald's thing, whatever this is. Is this a butter bench? Yeah. Damn, son. People mostly skate over Yeah, I've seen some videos here of people skating over It's a cool little spot, man. It is very big, dude. I believe Dan and Corey threw together this one here. This little uh, raised, slappy curb angle thing. It looks like a big Allen key. Like if that was curved a bit more that way, it'd be a big Allen key. We're uh, dealing with an unusual amount of wind out here today. So it's gonna be tricky. Yeah, I'm trying to hide from the wind noise because it's annoying. It's so shitty. But there's a few things I want to get here and uh, I'll have to go in between the winds, basically. Hopefully, that's the plan, fingers crossed. Some little stuff I want to get done here. And uh, yeah, pretty big DIY. I mean, the part that they built it is like 15% of the whole area. Like this spot's massive. Those, those riders are getting the boot, I believe, by whoever that is in that white ute. So we're gonna see if they're gonna roll down this way, the person in the ute, we might have to dip. We don't know yet. There's a bloke there. Or maybe he's just working on something here, I don't know. I think he's just doing his job. Maybe. So we're just waiting for the wind to drop and this bloke and the U to nick off before I start trying to get some stuff here. You know? This video's going on in action. It's too windy to talk. First try out the gate. I feel like I landed right there. You like landed almost on the bench. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these for the landing. Yeah, these metal slugs. Got the pole jam, dude. You. You're scared to pop it, probably because the wind. Pop. I'm supposed to be the king of pop. Fuck Michael Jackson. Dude. <laughs> I feel like you could just. I feel like you could stand here and ollie, and the wind will just take you over. Yeah, it's, it's like, how do you measure wind knots? Probably like 30 knots. <laughs> Miles per hour. Welcome to America. Skating nollies over flat cap is like the hardest of all nollies. Yeah, it's so hard to skate nollies. You're just going on flat. Okay, it's, it's a mind fuck for me. Yeah? Yeah. Eurogap's doing nollies up is not a... I feel like Eurogap doing nollies up is easier because it throws you up it. Sean's wrong and I'm right. 
There it is. It's another gap over there. I love it when you get off your board and keep going. <laughs> Switch barrel here? Oh, that was a good switch heel. That's a good kick flip. Every time. Yeah, 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 get ready. Get that mindset right. Oh. <laughs> that didn't help at all. I wanna try that. 180 switch manual? Yeah. Get it. What's the secret? Uh, it's a really easy tendency to put the switch manual down and notice how you're setting it down, not scraping. Just balance. Yeah. Just... Like, don't think 180 into switch manual worry about your shoulders just focus on holding the switch manual all right. that's all just make get get into those teeters immediately okay there it is uh, uh, uh. it is being in here you make you want to wrestle me <laughs> you like climb out after you land your trick <laughs> How do they do it like this? Like this. Are you trying to twerk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean. This is that one. Have you ever done that before? The switch back 180 out? It feels yeah. like more easy because you're just going back to your regular stance. I see. I think it's a lot harder. Really? Yeah. On well, longer manual pads, it's way, way harder. A short one, I can see how it's. Because your, your momentum keeps going. Yeah, it's just about locking behind your shoulders to stop that 180 out. Yeah. There you go, new trick. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling crook as a dog right now. It feels like Ovid K, like the Omnicrom. Like starts to feel like that, so hopefully it doesn't last too long. I'm gonna go to CVS, get me some medicines, probably go home and then draw, wash some clothes. I don't know, this might just be end up being a vlog because I try to skate, couldn't skate, have some immense throbbing pain going on right at the top of my spine where it connects to my skull, so I don't feel the best. But yeah, I gotta get a video done for YouTube, for you guys. So yeah, I'm going home now. I'm going to CVS and I'm gonna go home. So fast forward one day, went to the CVS, got some syrup, got some Advil. Um, pretty much been sleeping a lot. I've been drawing some stuff. I'll show you guys what I've been drawing. Been drawing up some flash little cowboy with a cigarette in his mouth, smoking, little red back spider, some train track nail things, stakes, butterfly, and then a hand holding a revolver. So yeah, I'm gonna draw a bunch of outlines so I have stuff ready at work, stuff I wanna do, cause it's cooler and funner that way. So today, I actually like, stayed home the whole day and it was a really nice day outside, but I just rested up, I did some editing, I did some drawing, I ate some food, and then I just rested and I feel way better now, which is good because I hate being sick. Being sick is the worst. I become the biggest whinger when I get sick, so I'm glad that that's passed. Got a COVID test, wasn't COVID. As you can see here, there's one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it tells you if you have COVID or not, obviously, because it's a rapid antigen test, but it's negative. So I'm glad it's not COVID because this would have been the third time I've had COVID if it was positive, but luckily enough, it was negative. Sorry for the short video, guys. I feel like this is just luck of the draw. You get dealt the hand you're given or whatever those bogans get tattooed on them. Um, yeah, we tried to hit Long Beach DIY. It was too windy. I set up a board just for the DIY as well. I'm gonna have to go back there because there was a bunch of tricks I wanted to get. And when we were skating at La Puente, I was just in so much pain. Like I could skate for a bit, but then once I stopped skating, 
my spine like where it connects to my skull would just like frob like this so i was buggered i couldn't do a thing so i'm glad i feel better now and i hope you guys enjoyed this short but sweet video be sure to check out eveningmob.com pick something up free stickers of every order go and check my second channel out link is in the description um yeah cheers for the support and thank you for watching the video if you've made it this far it means the world to me see you guys later on your way back, bring me his son.